All right, we're back here at the fill site, and we've got uh, four different sets of lines. So two sets of lines from each pumper. So we have a five inch line coming from each pumper, and then a manifold, and then two sets of three inch. These folks fill with three inch, twin three inch lines with storage connections on the end. So easy hookup. And uh, so what they're able to do is they're able to bring in a tanker, fill it. The next one that comes in can come in, get hooked up and then they can switch over seamlessly to get to the next uh, tanker and fill it as well. So, want to fill one tanker at a time, but there's certainly uh, a lot of efficiencies to be realized if you hook up the second tanker while you're waiting. And uh, so now we've got uh, another tanker, another couple tankers coming in. So we got the fire policeman here. That's pretty essential to have uh, good traffic control. Sometimes our civilians aren't uh, so great with following directions, but uh, that's okay. So, tanker 27 is uh, leaving. Uh, tanker 59 is probably just about full. Yep, looks like they're shutting down now. And uh, we've got uh, tanker 57 coming coming down, and he's followed by the uh, Hocaston tanker behind him. So. They'll maneuver him to the position here. Uh, they're going to take him all the way down. And uh, they're going to bring in the Hocaston tanker. He'll fill in off this set of lines. You can see the Quarryville tanker, tanker uh, 57, is going to move on down to the next pumper and air fill station. And uh, these guys are cooking with, with grease. They're doing a good job. Uh, we're, as we're timing these, we're getting fill times. Uh, of about two minutes and 20 seconds for a 3,000 gallon tanker. Uh, so that's a bit above 3,000 gallons per minute. I'm sorry, it's a bit above 1,000 gallons per minute, certainly not 3,000 gallon minutes. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, the pressures are, are nice and low. They're not, uh, they're certainly not over 100. You wouldn't check the engines. They're doing 100 pounds at the uh, source, 100, 120 somewhere in there. So we know by the time it gets here, it's going to be less. So we can see Tanker uh, 25 one from Longwood. They're busy getting hooked up. Uh, they're not filling yet. They're just hooking up. So that's the principle of having the two sets of lines. So we'll walk over so we can get a little better look at it. So <clears throat> they're now hooked up. The tanker 251, and you can see the Quarryville tanker is uh, filling up. And then, basically, what the gentleman at the manifold is going to do, you can sit him there, kind of lounging around, taking his ease. Uh, as soon as the Quarryville tanker is full, he'll just switch the handles right over and start filling tanker 251. Uh, that way, there's no interruption for the pump operator. Uh, matter of fact, he's been making this switch over pretty much simultaneously, so the pump operator really would never know the difference. 